this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about how iOS 14 is going to make personalized ads more difficult. All right, so for those of you guys who check AdMob every day, like I do, and my God, my AdMob is falling like a rock. For those of you guys who check AdMob every day, you've probably seen at the banner where it says, you should update your apps for and get ready for iOS 14. And in iOS 14, they're gonna ask for permissions on the IDFA identifier. So if you, ever look, if you have a look at this, I know some of you guys are only Android developers and you don't need to worry about this, but my suspicion is this kind of thing will filter over to Android as well. So basically, prepare your apps for iOS 14, and it gives an example of what the request would look like. And it says, app name would like permission to track you across apps and websites owned by other companies. The identifier user will personalize ads to you. So, if you saw that, would you click yes? Probably, I wouldn't. This is one of the things. When the GDPR stuff came out in, in May of 2018, was it March or May of 2018? Anyway, it was in 2018. We had to start asking for permission to serve personalized ads. At least in the, in the EU we did, or in the EU and the UK. Right, we had to start asking permissions, and I thought that was the end. I thought, okay, so now most people will choose non-personalized ads. Because me, I think, I've always thought it was creepy when you go to a website and you see ads for it all over the place. And a lot of people say, actually, no, that's actually kind of a good thing because you're only seeing ads that are relevant to you. And everybody I've heard say that have been people who make money from advertising, either marketers themselves or people who serve ads. But for me, as just a normal user, I always thought, it's creepy. So this kind of thing, while I think it will, it may damage some of our ad revenue, it's probably a good thing for the users. And I think it's the kind of thing that we'll go through for, um, uh, for Android at some point too. Now they do give an example here of having a pop-up to come up to say exactly what it is. We did the same thing with our, uh, with our GDPR stuff. We were able to do our own thing saying, hey, you, you need this, but this is different than the GDPR thing because you could get by, and I know a lot of people didn't, did nothing for GDPR, right? But this is part of the operating system. If you have IDFA, it's going to pop up and, and ask for that. So it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see how that works. Now, in general, I think doing making money through advertising is getting more and more difficult. And I think it's going to get more difficult going forward, right? It's like the same way that spam filters made uh, spam email, you know, difficult or and, and and your 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 spam inbox just filtering things out for you probably made it a lot more difficult for spammers it also made a lot more difficult for those of us who were cold emailing because you had that spam filter to think about right and ultimately it's good for the end user it's good to, for the consumer but i think it i could be wrong about this but i kind of think it's 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 time to start thinking more about those in-app purchases. Start, time to start thinking about more subscriptions, in-app purchases, and other ways to monetize your apps than just doing ad mob. Now, my biggest, my most popular videos on this channel have been the ones where I talked about my ad mob revenue, how much I was making from it. And I know some people have gotten into app development and so they'll email me saying, I'm not making anything with ads. I'm not making, I'm hardly making anything. My, my RPM is whatever, 10 cents or whatever, right? And it's like, it's just getting more and more difficult. There's a lot more people getting into it and it's time to start thinking about in-app purchases. And I and one of the things that bothers me about in-app purchases is that there's some people, I mean, are, who are always looking for the free solutions. People say to me, yeah, what's the free way I could uh, use this tool? What's a free alternative to this? And even if you watch YouTube videos, they say, this tool is absolutely free. You just get flooded with ads or, you know, pro you know it's very limited. Um, and you know, it's, I think we have to start rethinking about rethinking ad revenue as a way forward. Um, but I could be wrong. With GDPR, I don't think I really saw much of a hit. I mean, it was a little bit of a hit. Or maybe just non-personalized ads will become the norm because personalized, I mean, it will just be more difficult across the board. Or, you know, it could be like when you go to a website now with GDPR consent and it just says, do you accept? Do you accept? You know, like, yeah, whatever. Accept, accept, accept. I just want to read the article, right? And we're just constantly just going through. It's this extra step that just gets in the way. It's a bad user experience, but ultimately it's a necessary one. Maybe we should just start not using IDFA identifiers anymore and start non-personalizing. But anyway, 
it crushes me that that's happening. iOS 14, I hope, I don't know when it's coming out, but it's something to think about, which means we have to update them all again. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day. Let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? Do you think it's gonna affect your revenue at all if you're making uh, revenue through AdMob or through any other ad network because it's on the, it's on the iOS platform, it's not through AdMob? Do you think it'll affect your revenue? Um, it's Friday, so Friday night we'll be doing the live stream tonight. Uh, so if you could join us, that'd be great. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll talk to you again next time.